Hello, welcome to this podcast. I am Jacob Kemp and I will be the host. So how this podcast will work is simple. <clears throat> I will tell you the topic of what we're supposed to talk about. Everyone, oh, that's not supposed to be in there. But everyone will tell a story that they think is the funniest. At the end, we will all decide on what is the best story. The person who has the most votes will receive the following prize. I will pay for one drink and one snack of their choice from the vending machines and the Sovereign Tech cafeteria. So does everyone understand the rules? Uh, question. Question, Mr. Mr. Kemp. Can I vote for myself? No. All right, moving on. Uh, <laughs> Trevor, do you understand the rules? I do understand the rules. You gotta get closer to the mic. No, I can hear me. Okay, anyway. All right. So who wants to tell theirs first? I think... And, and Jacob, or I think one of you all wants to go first, you know. Oh, no, you can go first. Oh, me? Yeah, I'm I mean, interested. In I'm, oh, but like, I don't want to you spread can, off you the can, bat. But you can go first, you know. Okay, I'll go first. So, like, what am I What am I talking about exactly? Uh, pretty much uh, any story that oh. you think is funny. Like a memory. A funny story. So, think of uh, Cards Against Humanity, but your own memories. Card. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've I've seen some stuff in my 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 time, my eighteen years, you know. Um, let me th- let me think back, you know, to my to the days of my childhood. You see, I grew up in a little town, um, and during like uh, two thousand twelve to twenty seventeen, I, w- I was living in a town in the middle of nowhere called Eric, Eric, Oklahoma middle of nowhere it's a it's a quiet little town you know home of the eric bearcats and i remember when we moved there that uh <laughs> i spent I, I see i'm a tall guy would you guys agree i'm a tall guy i think you're a pretty tall guy yeah like i'm above average i'm, I'm six four mm-hmm. but um i've always been sl- like a, a slightly taller as i uh as a as I've grown up, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. So I moved there in the third grade, and they they miss. I was in thir- I was supposed to be in the third grade class. First day of school, I show up. I uh, I get there. Everyone's so nice. Like, welcome, Drew. Come on in. And then I'm heading to my classroom, which I think when this kid stops me in the hallway, his name is Eli Melton. Eli Melton is like, hey, are you a new kid? I'm like, uh, yeah, I am. And he's like, well, come with me, bro. And I was like, okay. So I thought he must have been a fellow third grader. But he wasn't. He took me to the fourth grade class. <laughs> so I show up in the fourth grade class. And everyone starts to ask me questions, you know, like where I'm from. Like, oh, I'm from Falls Valley. And yeah, I'm, I'm new here. And then like, like oh, yeah. I'm... And then they ask me how old I am. Like, that should have been my first, you know, red flag that I'm probably in the wrong classroom because they were all, like, one or two years older than me. I was like, oh, I'm I'm 13. Like, oh, are you smart or something, you know? Like, what? I'm like, no. I'm like, they're like, because like, we really need you in our in our little like, math class. I'm like, I'm like well, I'm, I'm not good at math. I'm like, what are you good at? I'm like, I don't know. Star Wars trivia? And anyway, so that was my first red flag that I was in the wrong class. But it wasn't until, like, um lunch period i said i had spent the whole day in the fourth grade class when i'm a third grader and it wasn't until like the uh lunch period that we got there that i uh i, re- I saw a kid that i met at like uh at church yeah the the day before before our school started and he was like his name was jackson campbell and he was like hey drew where have you been i thought you were supposed to be in my class I'm like I, I, was, I was i said i'm wondering the same thing where where have you been bro i was like what you've been here Oh no! <laughs> and then it clicked. Yeah, I'm in the wrong class. And so I told, I went up to a teacher who was uh, in charge of us at because we didn't have like assigned teachers like in middle school or high school. You know, like it was, everything was hourly. You know, you went to one class for reading, one class for math. And so our our person that took us to lunch was Mrs. Green, and she asked. I came out to her, I was like, excuse me, Mrs. Green. She's like, what do you want? Because she was eating back then and still today. All the teachers were underpaid and just didn't want to be there, you know. And uh, I was like, hey, I think 
I think I might be in the wrong class. And she was like, you doubt our institution? Like, uh, no, no, here's the thing. <laughs> I just, I need to, you see, I, I'm, a, I'm supposed to be, I think I'm a, I'm a third grader. <laughs> and, and she just looked at me like, are you, are you, are you joking with me, son? Is this some sort of joke? You think that you think you're new here and you want to impress all the other little boys, but trying to make a fool out of the teachers. I'm like, no, man, I just, I think I'm in the wrong class. She's like, sit down. <laughs> and I walked away almost in tears because <laughs> like, I looked at my friend Jack's at the third grade table and then, and then I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> and then, Next hour, I find it's my math class and it's with Mrs. Miller. And I'm like, and she was like, you know, Drew, I don't think I have you on the roll here. I'm like, I'm like, I've been trying to tell you what I'm third grade. And she's like, oh, no. And so Mrs. Miller, uh, another teacher, Mrs. Osmond, they go to Miss Green and was like, hey, did, did he, did I, some kid tell, try to tell you that he was a third grader? And she's like, yeah, I didn't believe him. He, he didn't look like a third grader. <laughs> I'm like, well, he, he actually is. And I'm like, oh. And so the principal calls my mom, who was working at the high school like across the town, and is like, hey, so don't be mad, but uh, your your son's been in the wrong class for the entire day. <laughs> and she's like, oh, this she thought it was hilarious. And so finally... I get put in, it's like sixth hour. It's like the day is almost over. But like, I finally get put in the third the third grade class. I walk in, I'm in I'm in Miss Miller's class again. And uh, the first thing that is said to me, I'll never forget this, because it really made me feel insecure. Because I am I'm, I'm, I was also a bit of a, a chubby kid. <laughs> and I walk in there and there's a kid named Juanito. He was... He's a, he's a good friend of mine. I remember from like elementary, but he was, I walk in there and he's the first thing to say anything. And he says, boy, he's huge. Look at him. He's got rolls. And so, yeah, that's a funny story I have. Trevor, let's go to you. What, do, what funny story you got? Oh man, yeah, uh, I got literally no time for this. I'm gonna... okay. Well, um, I don't know why you put it so far back now. I was, uh... anyways. So no, 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 no. Man, bro. school stories are always the craziest. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah. When it comes down to it, no, because I I try to go back from memories, and I think the craziest ones I have are probably from school. Mm-hmm. Actually, this one. The jam. Nah, oh, man, everybody loved my gender during elementary. I don't even remember our gender during uh, middle school, and gender currently in high school is just never seen. So, man, what was that? I'm trying to think of a... Uh... You know? Actually, I do. Okay. So, this is back in fourth grade. We went on kind of a science trip. Uh, it was more of a camp. We were there for, like, three days. Um, well, the only other camp I'd ever been to be- before that was like a, like a, uh, like a church camp. And it was like, it was along the same premises, except this one was not in the middle of nowhere. And I didn't almost drown due to kayaking. But wait, what I can say is, um, so it was the first day we get there and we you know we're, we're getting all settled in. We were, uh, we weren't actually allowed to go back to our rooms or like to our cabins wherever we were staying until about, I want to say the the very end of the day because they wanted us to, it, it was an ed, it was an educational thing. Mm-hmm. So we ended up going, I, I want to say to all of our things first and then it may have actually been about noon. Uh, we, we went to our, where we were supposed to stay. We put down our stuff. We got lunch. We ended up going back out. And uh, we all we all had these like colored bands, and I think they were all like bandanas too. So we were all te- we were we were no we were teens. Well, what I didn't know is that there was actually another school there at the time, for the exact same reason, doing the exact same color coordinated method. And um, I got this is I this is I think the second day. Because this was like right after we had lunch, and I was, what I what I would like to say, experiencing the first ounce of 
holy cow, I've never been this tired in my life. So my, my rational thinking and decision making was at, at an all time low. Uh, anyways, so we get through our first, this is at the very beginning of the day, and we get through our first, uh, our first little thing. We, we actually, I think we explored like the, uh, the insects and reptilians. And it was like, it was intriguing. And then we went over and we went out and sit uh, on the outside, right? Mm -hmm. Well, um, it, it, it wasn't until I actually looked around that I realized that this isn't my class, but they have the same colors. So I was really confused. I was like, was there more to our class than I thought? Okay, well, um, I guess I'll just continue. But the thing is that, I don't know why I didn't ever look at the teacher because the teacher I've never seen in my life. <laughs> so we all ended up going back to the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they all, I, we walk in and no one's questioned me so far. So I guess they didn't really pay attention, but we, we, we get in. And then they finally turn around as we're all starting to get undressed. And they're like, who's this kid? Because not only was did, I in the wrong... You didn't think, like, where's my where's my stuff? Where's my, my bunk? You know? No, I didn't. You want to know why? Why? Because it was the exact same cabin, except it was this the opposite... Okay, how do I explain this? So the cabin itself was... It was two parts. And the, the both sides are identical. Uh -huh. And... One of the other kids from the other cabin to have the same bag as me wasn't like the guy replaced because I don't know where he went because apparently there was another kid that got lost in my group too. You guys just switched places, <laughs> pretty much, and everyone was okay with this, and we didn't realize it till about well the very end of the day because I I mean I was with my actual class the first half of the day so I guess they just stopped paying attention and I guess he didn't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> because he he was not well neither did not, you <laughs> no, I was asking questions. <laughs> no I had very I had very very few friends actually I think the only friend I had was probably a teacher at that time and uh, nobody she wasn't even there on the trip anyways so and they're like who's this kid because not only was I in the wrong group but it was like the wrong grade too so that's why whenever you said that I was in the wrong grade I was like that just reminds me of something yeah because not only was I in the wrong group, they were all second graders, but they were, like, extremely tall. Did they do anything to you? No. Good. I'm just afraid they thought I was going to do anything to them. <laughs> just thinking. There's no. Like, what grade were you in? You were first I was in fourth. Grade. Fourth grader. They were some, they were some pretty, like, grown-looking second graders. Dang. But then again, I was also really short. I was, like, 4'8", four, four and they were all, like, 4'10". So... There's that. I uh, that's hilarious. I have one little story that I just remembered. Yeah, this that's this, incredibly short. This is gonna be ten minutes. By the way, this is, this is <laughs> yeah. yeah no, we're, like All right. So just to get this out of the way, so well, living in Erica, Oklahoma, it's like middle of nowhere. So it's a perfect town if you want to hide out, like from the law. And so we had that all the time. Like there would be, there would be state troopers coming in all the time, so like SWAT teams and like drug out gang wars anyway one time i my uh i was just hanging out with my brother and his friend reed and we were just playing video games and next thing we know we hear a giant explosion from like a block away and so our mom busted she was taking a nap and she's like what did y'all do and she was about to beat the crap out of us <laughs> like we didn't do anything <laughs> and they used me as a human shield because you know i was the youngest and she would try to hit her baby but uh anyway <laughs> but uh we get, she's like, well, what the heck was that? We like, we don't know. And so we all step outside together, and there's this giant plume of like green, yellowish smoke, like from coming down the street, and like you smell like like cat pee outside. We're like, what is that? And my mom was like, oh no, because like a meth lab had blown <laughs> up. <laughs> and the guy, the guy who who ran the meth lab was a guy we knew who he was he was crazy earl <laughs> and he had, he had lived like in this like giant it's a giant house that's like like abandoned <laughs> and he would be he, he rode the he like he and like 
30 other people in this town would like had those electric chairs you know because for like the disabled but they would just like had like our own gang <laughs> they would go down the streets and be like hey earl you know like, hey boys <laughs> and, like, and crazy earl blew himself up <laughs> 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 uh, so I actually funny okay i want to talk about any more of a god comedic timing so i was up late one time at like i think it was the winter of 2020 because this was around the time i think the final season of uh, an anime i was watching came out or like was just like I was like finishing up because it ended up uh, finishing, and so for, okay. So I was sitting up, right? No one knew I was up. It was like two o'clock in the morning. No one knew I was up. I was like, bro, I'm finna get some watch time in. I had just finished the series, just finished it right there and then, and then at that at that exact point, I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna go to bed, and then I just hear a. <laughs> Like, car, like car crashing, and okay. So where I was at the time was my grandmother's house, my nana's house, uh-huh. and they live in a sub. You know where the colony is? Yeah. Okay. Well, they they live there, and they don't they don't live in like a like a you can easily drive around and crash. No, 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 no. It is just roads. It is roads and buildings. So I guess that yeah, you can crash. Mm-hmm. But it's like the you would you would think you have a hard time, you know? Well, I was like, what was that? I peek open the blinds and it's just a car smoking from the thing, kind of half like crushed, and then it's like the trees just and the couples like I guess like I don't know what because they were like slowly getting out, and so my mother is like. Walking down the hall, and I was like, "Yeah, I just got up at the same time. I just came out to see through the blinds. Well, that was that was crazy." And so, you know, we go out. We're like, "Hey, are y'all okay?" And they're like, "Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine, honey. You okay?" She's like, "I got a headache," and I was like, <laughs> "Um, anyways." And so we had us, you know, and he, she's like, "I got a headache," and he's like, "I don't care. You can take some medicine when we get to where we're going." Like, they were, like, very, being very discreet, but very, like, very, very easily detectable as they weren't supposed to be there. And so, my mother's like, um, do y'all need any water? Are y'all okay? And she goes, oh, that'd be good. And he, he cuts her off immediately. No, we don't need water. You crazy? <laughs> anyway, so they, they start taking off. They just bolt it. I Like, she was in heels, too. I thought, I was like, oh, my goodness. I think she threw her shoes at one point because I heard, like, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Anyways, and so I was, like, looking in through the, like, the car, you know? Because, like, the police came, like, not even two seconds later. We were like, what the? Okay. Anyways, oh, by the way, they drove through a park. They had to get past not only a playground, trees, a hill, but they somehow managed to do all of that and hit a tree at the very end of it. Wow. That's crazy. And so I was like, there's a, there's a, there's a child seat in there. And so I was like, uh, because other neighbors came out. They were like, is everything okay? We're like, I don't know, man. But I can tell you, this could have been a lot worse. And all of a sudden, the tree destroys the car. It just falls and destroys the car. Wow. Like, that was pure comedic timing. And I wish I could have recorded that. But I, at the same time, I didn't. Because apparently, they were on the run from a, assault and murder. So... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they. It, I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was a bad dinner date, but I ended up hearing about it the next morning uh, on the uh, police scanner. It was like <clears throat> man. It was like woman assaulted and man murdered in the back. Like she killed him. <laughs> no, and and the funniest part is, is that she was the one that killed him. She was the one that killed him, but he was the one that like. I guess I guess they swapped roles or something because she was like, <sighs> wow. It was crazy. It was that was, and then the police came and they were like, "Yeah, so like, don't don't touch anything." And I was like, "I touched the window." Oh, you're going to jail. <laughs> that makes you accomplice. Wow, that's a crazy story. So, Jacob, you haven't you haven't really shared much. Yeah, your crazy I life. Wonder why. <laughs> okay, so this story, uh, since we're on the topic of like school things earlier, uh, I remember one memory, and it was a field trip. And so, like, I live in Sulphur, and our field trips, like, pretty much, like, we go to the same place every year. And 
All right. So anyway, on a particular uh, year of the month is Halloween. And we go to this uh, farm to pick up pumpkins. A pumpkin patch? Yeah, it's a pumpkin patch. Oh, man, we did that all the time, too. Yeah, once we did that, there's also, like, I guess this farm area where, like, I guess people get to interact. Yeah. And there's, like, this, like, petting zoo. Where, like, yeah, it's like a that. little, and little, little fun around. place. But there's this one area where it's just, like, if you walk in, it's, like, an empty room, like, a very big empty room and in the middle of it is just a bench or like i guess like a couch bench type thing that's just Boot like line. hanging from a seat from the ceiling with like chains and stuff and then like <laughs> you would people would like go in it and then like this big buff guy would just like strap you like you know have it on you like a seat belt like this chain in front of you and then he would just like push you and swing you around so like, you're telling me when you, like, what grade were you in? I don't know. It's like I'm pretty sure I was young. So a young Jacob Camp goes to the pumpkin patch for a field trip, and he t- goes into a, a, a barn. <laughs> he goes into a room filled with just a room a chair. with a chair with some sort of like couch. Lunch, I mean, yeah, it stores like strapped down to it by a buff man, by a giant buff man, and just. <laughs> So <laughs> he just like he, he just swings, swings you around. He just still swinging. <laughs> he like, he's like he's like. I'm did like, you enjoy this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he was like, it was a field trip. I thought it was were very scary. Were you too terrified to say anything? <laughs> I mean, that's definitely terrifying. Pretty sure everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it was. They had a line for it. So that's hilarious. I got. I got. I think I got like one or two stories left that I remember. So I'll. I'll Moving on from past school traumatizing experiences, <laughs> um, talk about my first job. So I live in Davis, you know, go Wolves. You know, um, my first job was my freshman year of high school. And it was, uh, I mean, I worked for like the, the previous doing like lawn care, but my first major job working for a company was at, at Arbuckle Fried Pies. I, that's right, I f- personally fried the pies. And probably did. I pro- I've probably made like around two thousand of them in my career. Anyway, so I uh, or at least fried to that of your portfolio. Yeah. I fried about two thousand pies. Yeah, that sounds like a Mr. Beast. I know. Video. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so at Arbuckle Fried Pies, it was it was a good first job. It was, you know, it was decent pay. Yeah, like okay staff, but. Um, part, partly the guy, it w- was weird is that only the guys would get told to go take out the, the trash, you know? And I was like, why, why can't, why is it always us? You know, like, whatever, you just follow the rules. And so my supervisor lady, her name was uh, Sean. She was like, hey, Drew, I need you to go take out the trash. I was like, okay. And so I, we had gathered all the trash. I was about to head out where, where, uh, <laughs> Braxton's at the window. <laughs> You're gone now. But anyway, so I gather this trash and I'm loading it into this cart that takes it to the dumpster. And we're moving. Um, well, like, they're like, oh, you got this, Drew. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll go do it. It was like, it's like in the dead of night. And I'm about to open the door to this alleyway, which is kind of near our parking lot. That takes you that takes you down the sidewalk to the dumpster. And I'm about to do that. When my other supervisor lady, uh, her name was uh, uh, Cheryl. She's like, Drew, wait, I need you to come back to the office and sign some forms for me. And, and so I was like, oh, okay. So I leave the cart there. I turn around. I haven't taken two steps away when, from like the doors that, of the exit that would ta- I would take that path that I would have been on within two seconds. I hear a giant like crash. So I'm, I'm like, what the heck? And the door is caved in. I'm like, it hasn't been breached, but it's caved in. I'm like, what the heck? I turn around, open the door, and a giant black suburban has crashed through, gone through an iron pole and into the door. And I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> and then a lady gets out, and she's like, oh, she's like, she spoke Spanish. I couldn't understand her, but she was, she was just like screaming at me, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? And I started like, what are you talking about? <laughs> And then my uh, my supervisor come around like, like, what are you doing? I was like, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Turning around, and uh, the uh, 
they're just screaming, and she's like, "Drew, go, go get, go get Aaron, who's like our, like our security guy." And uh, like, I go get Aaron, and then like, like, like two minutes later, everything's fine. The people in this car were fine. The police are there; they're taking care of it. They, they got, they got like a tow truck pulling it out, but like. I'm just shaking in the corner because, like, they're like my 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 like um my supervisor's like, "What's the matter with you?" I was like, "Like, I could I would have been out there the time it hit if you hadn't said, hey, Drew, come sign these forms.' I would be dead. <laughs> I would have been pinned. My body would have been right there. My head would have been over there." <laughs> and they they basically told me, "Oh." Snap out of it, Drew. Go home. I was like, oh. I was just. I remember just thinking about my life and where I was at, you know, in in life, and like, is this? I would this been a good end to, to Drew Whaley's story? Is it been splattered against the wall on our book of fried rice? <laughs> and I, uh, I just remember being so terrified. I and like, I was like, anything could happen. <laughs> I think I finally. Like, Finally, uh, can think of something you remind me of, what? like a, I don't know, like a, like an off-brand, um, Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. Mm-hmm. I've been told that I've been, I look like Jason Segel. <laughs> I know. I've been like the way the way you the way you sound the way you present the way I act. The way you act. I don't know. I really haven't seen him act. Anyway, um, that that's. That's a, another crazy story I remember from my past experience. Oh man, that rem- okay. That- so <laughs> another story. Another story. <laughs> We're at like uh, what is it? Uh, Twenty eight minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's about where me and Scarlett ended. Um. Anyways, so the funny. What do you think about life? Is that you never know what's gonna happen, <clears throat> especially when you're the one doing the stupid things. Right. Hold on, for a second. We're gonna, we're gonna test the That's audio. That's not that, that doesn't do anything. That's just a button. Oh, I'm what? Keep speaking. Hello. Okay. Hello. Anyways, so yeah, that works. That's that seriously worked. I think it did. No, that's just a that doesn't do anything. Anyway, we don't we don't. <laughs> All right, let's just continue. We don't do our own questions. So, <laughs> I mean, especially when you're doing like the stuff that's like, um, you know, the reason why. Anyways, so uh, Great Wolf Lodge. I was about in the third grade. Good talk, year. talk about near death experiences. What? Good year. Good year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 20, 20, 2013. 14, 13. I was, I think I was in 2014. <clears throat> yeah, I was. Anyways, so we go to Great Oak Lodge in the Texas, you know, and again, and the Grapevine. And, um, well, I was like, I can't believe we're here. I love this place. You know, me being. Just a child. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Our first day of fun, we were at the we were at the water park for maybe like four, almost like forty minutes because we didn't really find entertaining. I was with a friend, by the way. He was like one of my only friends at the time, mm. and so I uh, we had fun there. And then we did like a mirror maze thing. I uh, I ran right into a wall trying to look cool. Yeah. Yeah, that, that that didn't feel too cool. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah. No, I almost shattered the 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 glass. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well, there's like. Do you think that head trauma might have caused a lot of things that have happened in your life? Oh, that's not even that's that's just the start of the day. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, no. And so then we we go exploring, right? We got one of those rooms with a built-in cabin to it, you know, for the kids. And I thought it was so cool, and I was like, "This is the coolest thing in the world! It's a cabin inside of a hotel room." <laughs> Anyways, so <laughs> we go. It was the, we get like halfway through the day. Oh, sorry. And we get halfway through the day, and I'm and I'm starting to think to myself, "I'm not gonna lie, this may be the best day of my life." My friend on the other hand is like, "Man, it's kind of boring." I was like, "Boring, get." Boring. You're a great wolf lodge. You're a great wolf lodge. <laughs> you you just got to you just got to look at a slide you're not old enough to go on yet. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be grateful. <laughs> <laughs> you got to go through a mirror maze, which I almost had to pay for a broken mirror. I'm Anyways. gonna have these scars. <laughs> and we're about to go. We're about to go through a wizard thing because we got wands and it's like, I don't know. Anyways, so. 
That was just great time and great applause. Great, great time for your applause, except for the end of the day. Um, I was, I like to say, in a state of, you know, would be really cool right about now. Euphoria. To mess everything up. We go down. We order we order what we want. And I was like, this looks so good. I can't wait for this, this to come in. Di- this is a dinner. Uh, yeah, this is basically dinner. I was like, oh, this looks... I can't wait for this. Because we had to order it and then we would come up to our room. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Or actually, I don't think we had to like go down and get it. But anyways, because there was a pizza place. So you order, get, you get food. We go back up to the room, right? And while we're waiting, my, my, my mother's uh, fiancé at the time... Was gone for about maybe ten minutes, and in that ten minutes, me and my friend, we were we were in the, like the lodge thing. We were we were uh we were, you know we were like oh this is so cool. There was a little TV in there. We were like having fun. And all of a sudden, he looks at me. He goes, "Hey, Trevor. Oh, by the way, let me let, let me uh, let me set the scene here. Inside the log cabin, it's kind of cool. There's a little arched doorway, and it's like it doesn't go all the way to the ceiling. So yeah. there's a little gap." There's like a little window there too, and it's a bunk bed kind of situation yeah. with the TV about right here. Yeah. Anyways, <clears throat> and so he's like, I've been here before. No, he hasn't. He has not been here before. But I was like, You have? Okay. And he's like, Me? I've jumped onto that little ledge right there between the ceiling and the little top of the cab. Oh. I was like, You have? He goes, Yeah, man, I did it. And I know you can too. And I was like, you know what? You're right. I took the word of a third grader who's never been to Grave of Flage that I didn't know at the time because I was so trusting. Oh, I thought this was your mm. mom's fiance telling you to do this. No. He was gone to get the food. All okay. right. And I was like, you know what? All right. So I get on the little 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 ladder thing there. And then I jump. And I grab onto it. and But I keep going. And then I fall back. And I hit the ground, give myself a concussion and a broken arm. But we didn't know about that until the very, very next two days because a uh, day because mother wanted to like disbelieve I actually like her marriage. She was like, "There's no way." I and mean, she felt like the worst parent after that. But um, anyways, so guess we went to like the Legoland thing in the like yeah. and stuff in the mall. Wow. See, so anyways, so <clears throat> anyways, at one point. I, I had apparently, like, came conscious. I didn't know. And um, my friend was like, are you okay? And I'm like, who are you? Who is he? Mom! <laughs> and my mom's just sitting there in the corner like, <laughs> yes, yes, it's okay. Just, just put her hand on my face, close my eyes. She's telling me that she, this. Like, I heard this from her, this part. And my friend was so scared. And he wanted to sleep in the same bed with me because he didn't, like, he, he, was, he was, like, so sorry. You know? Right. Anyways, I, 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 I woke up, and my, they, had, they had to sleep in the bunk beds, apparently, even though there was another bed. I don't know why they did. Anyways, so um, I woke up, and the first thing, I, when I come to, I look at the little, t- like, area where the table is, uh, and I'm like, the food came, and y'all didn't wake me? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I was like, I was so looking forward to eating that. What happened? And my friend's just like, Oh my god, you're not dead. I was like, what do you mean I'm not dead? I was like, oh, my arm hurts. Oh, my head hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and my mom was like, you uh, you jumped off the bunk bed and you gave yourself a concussion. You almost died last night. And I was like, what? <laughs> I missed the food? Like, that was my only, like, <laughs> I was only, like, upset about the food. My friend's just glad I was alive and everyone else was too. But when we went down, it was like, can we get a, can we get a, like, a, some sort of, like, refund or something, like, for just a little part of this? Anyways, we got tickets to come back to, like, the water park. But, um, after that, I went the entire day in a brace because I was like, <laughs> like, it was hurting. I, I swear, I actually snapped it on both sides. Ow. Yeah. And so we went through Legoland, the Legoland thing in the mall and the SeaWorld too. Sea, sea Life, Sea World Life thing. And, the entire time my mother was like, oh my god, he's holding his arm like it's broke. I'm gonna look like such a bad parent. And meanwhile, my, my friend's like trying not to cry because he's like, he has reliving traumatic experiences every time I was like about to go do something. He was like, just be careful, please. Don't, don't go running too fast. Don't pick that up with that thing. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I think I'm out of stories. 
I have so many more, but we do not have time for that. Yeah, it's about, uh, what, 36 minutes? Um, well, go, sorry, I hope you've enjoyed our 10 minute podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hold up. Uh, so, before we the, the podcast vote. ends, we have to vote on who thinks told the best story. It was supposed to be a story, but <laughs> I guess it's too late now. It's too late now. You can turn it in, you're like, they didn't want to stop. All right, so now we got to vote on who we think told the best stories. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, I gotta go with Trevor. Right. Okay, so you're just saying that because you can't vote for yourself. Well, I yeah. Don't, yeah, it's too your system's broken. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, then he's gonna vote for me. I was, I was just and then, and then, and, and then, then, then you're gonna, gonna get vote. to this side. Uh, so who, let's get the Chase Jacob. Who won? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who gets the free drink? Honestly, I, th- I think I think you should. I think you had better execution. Oh, okay. you had you had you had you had way uh way more humorous stories. Now we say humorous stories when in real honesty we're laughing at like just how stupid and how cl- came, uh, close we came to death on every single one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty good. So what's your vote? What's your vote? Hmm. No pressure. This is this is not planned. <laughs> <laughs> This was not, <laughs> to take a guy. This was not. Tune in next week to find out. <laughs> this was Tune in next week to find out who wins at the ten minute podcast. T- definitely ten minutes. Definitely ten. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I guess outro. The rock paper scissors. Uh, uh, that's not. Well, that's fair. Uh, yeah, okay. 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 So we're gonna rock paper scissors because he's so indecisive. Yeah. Right? Yeah. He doesn't want to hurt either of our feelings. So, yeah. So. No, I, I mean, I like... Do you want to do two, I think? Okay. You okay. know what? Never mind. I'll vote. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Uh, um, he's looking at you. I'm just saying. Just just choose. Just you, choose any, any meaning, money, 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 if you have yeah, to. Yeah, if you have to. Yeah, I'll give you points based on, like, how this podcast went. You started the whole, uh, like, multiple stories and stuff, so yeah. that's a point. Yeah, that's, that's a point. point. Uh, it was a point good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> you made it in 38 minutes. I unlocked the floodgates. <laughs> okay, and Trevor told some pretty good stories. That was a point. He did. You started it. You you got this thing going. You told stories. Uh, <laughs> you also told stories. I don't stories. know how to count. No, wait, I do. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, kind of. <laughs> and the senior, he's like, counting. You I just show count. Show. More like doubting. <laughs> yeah. I'm doubting my counting. Yeah. All right. So I do think I may go for Trevor. All right. Congratulations, Trevor. You won. You're like, oh! <laughs> I told him I bought the fun games, but, you know, he told a story where he broke his arm because he was very tired. <laughs> 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 Congratulations, Trevor! <laughs> just for that one, I'll buy you a drink too. Oh, okay. Just for that one, you both win. I thought, I, honestly, Let's go. I thought you were gonna, you know, what I say? I won. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, from the one story I told, I win. He goes for himself. It's all the time. No one wins. Thank you for the time in the podcast. We hope you've enjoyed. And uh, please tune in never again because honestly, this was a one time thing. Oh, Every day. Yeah. Just, uh, Goodbye, that's it for the podcast. This went on for a long time. If you join our podcast and you read one. We gotta end this right now before it gets worse. I can't press the pause. We're out of here.